What's up guys, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Subnautica. Guys, this game has been an absolute blast to play the past few days. I feel like the support's been pretty good. I've been happy with it. The one thing I'm not happy with is the fact that I cannot find the last fragment to our sea moth. That is kind of cool. I think I just like actually found like a functioning piece. I don't even know that was a thing I could do. Fluid analyzer. Cool. I guess I can use that at some point. But what I what I have not done yet, guys, is found the final piece to the, the uh, vehicle bay. We found the sea moth. We got that taken care of. It's cool that we can make it, but I'm pretty sure I need to be able to make a vehicle bay to actually make the sea moth. And so what I'm going to do today is explore a region I've not yet gone to, which is kind of right next to the giant crash. And I'm going to see if I can find that piece somewhere. I'm literally just going to swim around, uh, just search everywhere, probably even cut out most of it and see if we can find it. And then we're going to go explore places like this but i can't go into it yet because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get murdered if i try and that actually seems like a pretty cool spot to drop a beacon never used a beacon yet let's go ahead and try that edit beacon name we'll just call this one cave and i guess theoretically i'll be able to come back to that at some point it should still be there and i should be able to see that cave also oxygen's getting low so we got to go back up all right so there's the giant crash i've never been on this back view you can get a good understanding of how massive that ship actually is but I've never been here. Look at that. Look at that. That's a massive shipwreck, and I don't think I've explored it yet, which means we might find our vehicle by piece we're looking for. And then once we get that, we're moving lower. We're unlocking more things. It's going to be big. All right, let's see. So so far, there's nothing here. It's not... I was getting pretty pumped about that. I saw it. I got pumped, and now I'm, now I'm feeling a little bit sad. Maybe I have been here. Nope. Scanner room fragment. I don't have that one, I don't think. All right, if it gives me titanium, it means I have it. So there's another Cylinder scanner room fragment. All right, that was a bust. That didn't work for us. All right, I feel like we're entering uncharted territory. There's a weird monster over there. That that means it's too far. That means don't go that way. So we're gonna back off of this zone. I'm pretty sure that creepy monster is gonna come over here. And I'm just a uh, little thorn monster. I'm just gonna keep on searching because I really, really need to find that vehicle bay piece. I might as well break all this while I'm here because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be expensive to craft. That was some gold, which is useful. I hear that monster, but I don't see it. There he is. There he is. Leave me alone, buddy. All right, massive wreck directly below me down here. I feel like there's got to be something in this one that I'm looking for. Look at all these parts. I mean, this all looks scannable, so hopefully that looks... I mean, that's that's just a cart. Metal, metal, metal. All right, it looks like there's more metal. There's got to be something inside this cell. This looks so promising. Please don't let me down, baby. Please don't let me down. All right, that looks like a door. Can't, can't break it. I'm going to have to get the laser cutter at some point, so I can break through that, I'm guessing. All right, maybe, maybe this was a bust. Maybe that's it. Open supply crate. Got some water. Uh, let's get our flashlight out, see if there's anything to scan. I don't want to get stuck down here. There's a lot of stuff in here. This looks like a completely crashed ship. There's a vehicle bay fragment. That is the last one we needed, boys. That's it. Let's get out of here. Uh, how, do I, how do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? Okay, right there. That was it. That was the final blueprint we needed. I can't believe I just found it. I can finally make the vehicle bay, and I, I guess we got to find a new place to make our base. And so, I, I have an idea of where I want to make it. I'm thinking of a good spot which is so what we need to get is the mobile vehicle bay this is going to allow us to make like that weird little i've just seen other youtubers use it it's like a super good quick moving thing and i need to get it basically that was one of the worst explanations i've ever heard so i need titanium lubricant um and that and a power cell so i wait is that what, titanium ingot that's what it said titanium ingot i believe i already have one of those i'm not sure if it's on board or not there's the lubricant there's the battery we need for the power cell have a whole lot of titanium. I could actually just make a freaking titanium thing right now. Might as well do that. I've always wondered what you use these for. So 10 of those turns into titanium ingot. And then I also need to get a power cell, which means I need to grab one of my silicon rubbers from here. Where if you guys remember from episode one, we got like a million of these. Fortunately, I don't have to go craft it now. Power cell. And then I can make the advanced vehicle bay. And there it is. Mobile vehicle bay. Boom. I'm guessing that's a big thing. It's going to take up a lot of space in my inventory, but I guess this is where I can craft things from. Uh, I've never actually seen it. I'm going to do a quick Google search so I understand. All right, a quick Google search showed me that the mobile vehicle bay can be placed in the water and then will then float to the surface where you can then craft things from. So I guess since we're right next to our base, we might as well just drop it out here. So there it is. I dropped it. And there it is at the top. Is that pick up mobile vehicle bay? It seems like it's rather small. Pack it up. Is there a way to unfold it or something? I feel like I feel like it's got to get larger than that. Let's let's try again. Oh, there it was. Use it. There it is. There it is. You got to throw it out like that. And then it just pops on up, floats up to the surface. So this is what we've been looking for, like since episode one. Get our flashlight out so we can see it here. All right. So oh oh, just shot out little drones. What the heck? Whoa. Okay. So climb it. I guess we're gonna climb on top of it. Get up here, and use it. 
We're going to use it. Okay, so this is how we should be able to craft the Seamoth, which takes titanium, power cell, glass, lubricant. We have all of it. Let's go get it. Let's go make our first Seamoth, boys. I cannot believe I actually have all the parts either. Fortunately, I've just been collecting things over time. So what was it? Titanium. There was lubricant. Uh, there's my titanium ingot. Silicon, lubricant. And then I can't remember the last part. Let me go check that again real quick. Power cell and then two glass. I don't know if I have two glass. I actually haven't been using too much of that this uh, whole time I've been playing. If I did, though, it would most definitely be inside of one of these guys. Not that one. Okay, so I have everything I need except glass. And I knew that was the one thing I needed because I've been seeing crystal everywhere and I've just not been picking it up at all. I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me correctly, there's a lot of it around here in this basic area. Then once I turn that into... Oh, there it is. How about that? I also hear a thing about to explode on me. Come on, buddy. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There he goes. He got me. But we can collect his... Oh, we can't. He didn't have any, any catfish poop in there. All right. This is all we need that we can get in the mobile vehicle bay, guys. I've played this game for like 10 hours. This is my first time ever getting to this point. So this is a pretty, this is a pretty big day for me. Um, if you guys have played this game, though, what, like how far have you guys gotten? Is this like... Is this far at all? Is this not even close to the end? I have no idea. I haven't seen majority of the game. That's for sure. But I would love to hear some of the stuff you guys do. Some cool stories, cool areas to explore. All that cool stuff. All right. That is so cool. All right, back up here. I should have everything now to make it. Vehicle. Seamoth. And I don't know what's going to happen. The game just froze. Oh, look. The little little robots go up there and make it. Swimming's good for your glutes and endorphin levels. So, guys, I think we are pretty much done swimming at this point. Look at that little fish that got stuck by those stuckers over there. Well, that's pretty awesome. I guess I can leave the vehicle bay here for now. Let's go check out our Seamoth and see what's going on with this bad boy. This is my first time ever seeing it. It's named Seamoth. Enter Seamoth. Well, looks pretty cool. I guess we'll, we'll check it out. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, this is cool. Flashlight. Uh, I see a power supply over there. I'm guessing... Well, let me, what, what does it use for power? All right, as always, doing a little Wikipedia reading, and it said these things work off of power cells, and so what I want to do is actually carry at least one with me so if i run out of power at any point i won't have to freak out about losing it so i think i have a spare battery in one of these uh copper wire i'll take the copper i can maybe make a battery out of that um a little more copper and i guess i didn't have a spare battery i thought i did also this fish trap's working phenomenally i just keep it down here and every time i pop down it's just like full of new fish i can come down and get food whenever so we'll collect these mushrooms and go upstairs, make a whole bunch of batteries, a whole bunch of those power cells, have some with us, and then we can finally go explore one of the really deep caves, see what's inside of it for my first time ever. I've never even seen a video of it, so I really couldn't tell you guys what to expect. So could be amazing, could be really stupid. I'm guessing it's amazing. Um, I'm, I'm just so excited, dude. All right, guys, here's what's really crazy. I don't need the fluid analyzer anymore, do I? I well, I guess I could keep it if I go build something, right? Because that was kind of the plan to go build a new base also. So I'm going to keep that and see if I can do something with it. But um, now that we have the sea moth, I've actually completely gotten rid of our other thing in our inventory that was helping us move. And this is this is the future of transportation. I'm going to take this sucker out. Oh, it actually jumps too. That's very weird. All right. Let's get our bearings here. Now, I do believe this way is the way we want to go. We also have unlimited oxygen inside of this thing. Just have to watch that energy. As it hits zero, it needs a new battery. So I'll have to pay attention. And if you crash into stuff, I've heard that it loses health. I don't know if the flashlights actually drain it or not. That'd be interesting to know. But I'm going to take it over here because I know there's a cave around this area. This is such... Wow, this completely changes the game now that you can actually control a ship like this. Alright, so I know there's a cave over here. We're going to go to it try to not get eaten by the sand sharks that are swimming in the ground right there. And uh, some purple plants. This is in the cave. Oh, oh, something just hit me. Oh, it didn't do damage though. That was weird. I actually just took out a fish. I don't even know I could do that. There's the other life pod, which means the cave is right here. And I actually originally wanted to build here, but I'm like, this is actually kind of close to my base. All right, got to be careful. We're going in, boys. This is uncharted territory. I've never been this deep in my life. No idea what to expect. A lot of stuff on the walls. Looks like those can't shoot us while we're in here, so we're really safe. Can I break it? Okay, so I have to leave this. I still have to leave this to collect things. That's good to know. Wow, look at this. All right, let's go, boys. Hopefully we don't die and lose everything, because that would be really unfortunate. But if we do, I know that I can build next to it at least. Um, okay, a lot of purple things on the wall. What are those? I feel like I'm not safe to get out right now. I don't feel safe at this point to jump out of here. Oh, 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 okay, okay. 
Can't go any deeper than that. So I guess that's as deep as we're going to go, or else we're going to lose our entire ship and lose all the damage. So I guess we can explore up to this point. Definitely goes down deeper. But to be fair, I'm really not sure what's down here. There's a, there's a new fish. That's like an electric eel. All right. I'm getting out. I'm going to go see if I can collect it. Come here. Can I? Okay, okay. Eels attack. Eels attack. All right, coming back. Coming back. Get it. Get inside. Enter Seamoth. Come on, back inside. Okay. Nothing to do with eels. What else do we have? Some rocks on the wall. Maybe they'll give me something better than normal rocks? I like that the headlights stay on. That's really useful. All right, so that gave me silver, and that gave me lead. So, I mean, it wasn't bad. That was good stuff. All right, well, my best guess is that what I need to do is build a base right now. I need to find a spot, a good spot to build a base. I'm not really sure where I need to build at. I'm not sure what the best spot would be, but this seems like it's next to a cave, and that cave seemed pretty important. So, I don't see why I couldn't build, like, right here. Like, super low to the ground. Or maybe even on top of one of these platforms, like right above the cave. Because then I can get in there, get going deeper, and I'll have everything I need. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. So, we'll start building here, I guess. So, what we do is take out this guy. And this is our little building thing. So, we need titanium and lead to build everything. Of course, I have none of that with me right now because it's all inside of our storage units. Um, so, we'll go back to base, grab titanium and lead, and try to get that set up. All right, casually coast them back to where we'll be sitting up, setting up our new base, which I guess up here seems like a good spot. Kind of away from sand sharks. Kind of just seems like a just chill area. So, turn out the lights. Actually, we'll keep them on, because why not? I don't think it drains my battery to do. And we can start building. So, the first thing we need is a foundation. So, we can just place this, I guess, maybe just, like, right there. Have it, like, kind of poking off the edge a little bit. And then hold this down, and this is going to, like, build it. So, we're going to go into the building system now, which we have not seen yet. So, that's our first foundation. Then we can, of course, build stuff on top of it. A scanner room seems pretty freaking awesome. Apparently, I have no room for that. I guess I should build an interior module first. Uh, is there any kind of, like, just base room I could get? Uh, eye compartment, exterior module, interior pieces, interior modules, miscellaneous. So I guess I don't really have, like, just a big room that I could build. Except for this thing. I need table coral sample. I wonder if I could just build that first. Let's get my knife out down here. Oops. Alright, turns out I'm a pretty bad captain of our sea moth. It's already almost halfway dead, so I've got to get my repair tool. I believe I still have that and try to fix it at some point. But I got everything I needed. I'm back full health for everything. Everything's good. Um, so I should be able to build that scanner compartment, whatever that is, and see if we can get that down on our base. Could be a really bad first move. Could be a great first move. I'm going to do it either way. Assuming I can find where that spot was. And if there's one spot I put a beacon, it should be on this new base location. But once we get this new base started, I think we'll be able to really start getting into the game a little bit more. Start doing a little bit more than just kind of your basic building from that top top thing up there. So here she blows. Hop out real quick. Oh, hop out real quick. This is about as deep as I can get right now. And this is what I want. So it still won't let me place it. I do have the materials for it, I believe. It's showing up. Just not letting me place it. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and maybe place a basic compartment right here. Something like that. And uh, that's, okay, I guess, no, do we, should, we make a, should we make that or should we do a different one? All right, we're going to go with a glass compartment and then left bracket, right bracket to rotate. So we'll go ahead and do that and build this. So this uh, construct glass too. I don't have any glass. Okay, we can't actually build it yet because I don't have the glass for it. We can make this though, so we at least can get inside a little bit. So this is all I need, something real simple. And then over here we'll build one more piece. It'll be another just completely closed in section. And then down here we'll put a little bit of storage, maybe a little something like that. And I guess I should make a door. I need a door. Provides an access point. We need to get some quartz. So that's definitely a priority right now. I don't have like any quartz anywhere. Um, so gotta go find some. Also, I just noticed this outside of the base right here, which is another one of these little crew logs. So that's pretty awesome to find. Tell you guys what quartz is that one thing you don't need until you need it and then when you need it you need it and it's nowhere to be found i'm pretty sure most of it when i find it is up here around these cave areas so i'm going to go ahead and stay around this area hopefully i don't hit anything all right so we're back at the very beginning area and i remember just from my very first playthroughs there was always a lot of quartz in these areas in these weird caves you would just see it everywhere and so i came back turns out my memory served me correctly it's all over along with these little explodey guys, which if you don't know gives you sulfur also uh, My inventory is full now, but I do kind of want to get a little bit more room in here So i um, trying to figure out what don't I need maybe drop some of those guys. I don't really need those right now um, Although maybe I'll take one of them in case I can build that is all right inventory is looking full We're taking a full load over and I believe we have everything to make a door Actually get a functioning base going on make sure we orient ourselves correctly and 
away we go. Now, this is kind of weird, but that thing looks absolutely menacing up there. Looks like our base is actually rendering well before the rest of the world, which means it's going to be real easy to find our base in the future. Those tubes there just kind of stand out like a little black ring. It's going to make it easy. So we're going to pop over there, get our glass wall maybe finished, maybe not. But what I really need to do is just get some storage inside because that way I can just start bringing everything over here and pretty much abandon our last, our last spot because from here we can basically build something massive. We can build something that has a lot more features, a lot more storage, don't have to like kind of you know, on our last one, we were always running outside to make stuff get stored and all that. So we're going to make a hatch, put that right there. So this is how we walk inside. And then over here, I do not have what I need for that. So we're going to go ahead and just ignore it. Boom. We're in. And it's telling me we don't have power yet. So I definitely need to get some power, which means interior pieces. Actually, this would be an exterior module. A solar power could be great. Power transmitter could be great. Um, let's go ahead and try to get a solar power outside. That might be really useful. Hopefully we're not too deep. I don't think we will be. All right. Solar power right there. It's obviously not going to work when it turns dark, but it'll give us a little bit of power, which will be pretty big. And I don't know if I need this, but I'm going to go ahead and build it anyway. It says it extends power. I could at least use it at some point in the future. That, that seems useful. Maybe it stores power from that and it works at night. I don't really know what that does. Interior pieces reactor all right we got a lot of stuff to place on the inside so let's hop on in and get this taken care of finally we are getting there so this is a four wide section so i can build straight back that way build that way and of course we are working on building that so the first thing we want to do here is get the fabricator so this is how we're going to craft things this is like what you saw previously and the most optimal spot i feel like when i walk in i want it to be on the back wall so right there seems like a good good spot for us um do i have not have everything for it I need, oh, I need to get more titanium of all things. Wow, okay. Have to get more titanium, but at least that's on the wall. A radio, we will also place right there on the wall once we get the places for it. Med kit, we'll get that up there once we get pieces. And locker, needs titanium, needs titanium, okay. All right, my dudes, we are deep in the water. Eels are chasing us right now. This is that area right below our base. I'm just kind of exploring a little bit to see what's down here because I need to get two more titanium. That guy's really coming at me right now. And I'm kind of hoping... Is that that's copper okay i'm kind of hoping i just need one more then we can build a locker store stuff and then bring over absolutely everything we won't have to keep going back and forth between these bases anymore because we'll be able to transfer it so it's kind of annoying at first the way you have to do it still not what i'm looking for although this is great stuff to have right below the base that means anytime i need it i can just pop out go grab whatever how do i go oh that's going to be shooting me if i stop still to itch my nose there one more thing on the wall i do need one more titanium that's all i need come on one more all right one more titanium come on baby Silver. I mean, I'm getting all this good stuff, but I don't need it. But of course, later when I do need it, I won't get any of it. There it is. The last titanium. Make the wall locker store. Wall storage locker. Start bringing everything else over, and then we can get a new fabricator in here. Start crafting things in here, and then that's it. That's all we have to do after that. And I'm pretty sure that's going to give us power at night. That, that solar power seems to be working pretty well. So, let's get this thing built. And we will just transfer pretty much everything that I have right now into this. Because when I go back, um, that's actually completely full. I'll be able to bring over all the titanium I can because that needs titanium, gold, titanium, copper. Or like these things are kind of expensive with what they require. So fortunately, I have most of it back at base. All right, while we're here, I'm going to do a little bit of repairing on our CMOS. Just because if it gets to 0%, it'll explode and it'd be a pain to have to rebuild that guy. So here's our water lockers. I'm not going to take, I don't really need this fish with me. I'm not going to take that back with me. Um, I don't think I'll need our explored thing right now because we have this massive beast. What I really need is a locker full of titanium. Salt. I mean, all this stuff is good, but where's, where's the titanium? I know I have one. There it is. Hopefully I can fit most of it. All right, boys, and for the fifth and hopefully final time, we're back. I should probably make sure that my recording software is still working because these episodes are really long. I feel like the Subnautica series is just going to be long because I got to do everything myself, which makes it extra long that way. But I think that makes it extra special, too, because it's me. It's not someone else doing it for me like my ARC videos normally are when I'm working with my tribe. So this is it, guys. This is the final piece, the final upgrade. Let's slow down this machine here. Let's take it all in. This is our this is our new base. It's It's small. It's not much but it's functional. It's got a little bit more room than we had before for starters. Let's get this fabricator finished. All right, it says I need gold and table coral sample. There's our gold and I have table coral sample. So that should, if I'm correct, finish it. Boom, now we can start crafting stuff in here like 
Glass? Can I make glass? Alright, I need to get more quartz. If I must have it in here, which I do. Alright. So now I can go here. Basic resources, craft some glass, and then I'm pretty sure that's what my glass tube needed to make. And I kind of just want to make a glass tube. Alright, two glass. So I'm gonna need to make Oh, I had two glass. Boom! Your boy's got the glass tube, so now I can see outside. This is the way to do it, I feel like. I mean, I guess this is alright, but no windows is kind of lame. Titanium and copper on that one. I already have it on me, so this will fix up the radio real quick, and we'll get another one of these. It feels so good to get all this stuff going on here right now. And computer chip fiber mesh. Alright, that one's a little bit expensive. We Maybe maybe we don't make that. Oh, there it is, boys. There it is. The scanner room is just going to extend out like a sore nub over here. It's really expensive. I don't think I have everything for it, but if I do, that'd be pretty sweet. What do I need? Copper or gold and a table coral sample. Another table coral sample? Copper and gold, I know I have, though. Alright, so while swimming back, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and look at my phone, send a couple texts, see what's going on in the in the social media network of things. And um, I've crashed this thing about four times, so we're already down to 80% health. So that's maybe my bad a little bit there. I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of the stuff inside. I think we have everything out of these lockers for the most part. But I know the inside was originally packed with stuff in here. I thought this was like maxed out. Okay, just a little bit of silicone from the beginning. Take that fire extinguisher with us. And just like that, back at the beginning to get our table coral samples. Then we can go get the scanner room, which says it scans for nearby structures, caves, stuff like that. So I'm hoping what I can use it for is to scan and get nearby resources, which sounds like it'd be pretty useful for us moving forward. And there's also a radio distress signal nearby. Someone asking for help. So we're going to have to go check that out at some point. But first, we got to get this base taken care of. It's going to make the game so much easier to move forward once we have a little something to work with. So we're going to go back. This is the final trip. If you guys are still watching, thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a like here and subscribe if you've been watching this series. It's a long series. It's a passion project, guys. And it is... Let me make sure I'm going the right way real quick. I have no idea where that giant ship is. All right, it's got to be this way, right? It's on my right. Yes. I just know I go like this way relative to that ship. All right, back home. Got the light shining on my base, making it a little bit easier for us to see. And this should finish the scanner room. Game just froze there for a second as we finished it. I'm going to see exterior modules. Do we have anything else we should make? Pumps oxygen from a habitat to a pipe network. That's pretty cool. There's really nothing out here that I guess I really need to make. Miscellaneous chairs, trash cans, signs. Nothing, nothing important. So let's get inside. Check out this new room. Aboard, All right, so this is the scanner room. I don't even know what this does. Control the camera. Use up and down to control the camera. Okay. So, what? That's weird. So, like, shout out some kind of life pod or something? What? What's it do? Can I go really deep with it? I'm going to go ahead and see how deep this thing goes. Camera one. I don't know if this thing can get attacked, but I know for sure that when I took my other ship down here at the beginning of this episode, we got destroyed. So, let's take our scanner down. We're getting deeper. So hasn't told us not to go deeper. And what is that little yellow thing right there? Weird. Very weird. Alright, is this as deep as it goes? There's gotta be more. Don't tell me I build above this cave and this is it. Seek fluid intake. Alright, your boy's getting real thirsty right now. How do I get out? Oh, I can I can control it and then I can leave it. Also, oh, the camera just stays here. That's really weird. So I guess I could control these and just like take it wherever I need to go and be like, hey, I wonder what's down there. Let me take a camera and go check it out. But taking a camera down here shows me that there's not a whole lot down here that I need. That's really weird. Really cool though. Creature copper? It scans for copper? I'm really confused about what's going on right now, but this thing seems really sweet. And what is this? And it has a different fabricator. So it makes drones. Scanner room trips. Scanner room upgrade. I don't have magnite. Scanner room speed upgrade. Silver and gold. Let's go ahead and do a speed upgrade real quick before we end this episode. I think I have a little bit of silver and gold. Gold. Silver. I don't know if speed upgrade is going to let me move quicker or what, but let's go ahead and do that. I'm also very thirsty, but we're ignoring that for now. Alright, so I have the, the thing, the speed upgrade. How do I use it? Do I just drag it down here and, like, use it somewhere? Oh, scanner room upgrades. I guess I can drag it into here. That would make sense. So now I have a speed upgrade. This thing still says it's scanning. 
So I have it on scanning copper ore. So maybe it'll tell me if there's copper ore down here. Let me cancel that. Let me do something that like I know I can scan for. Something I know I'll find. Titanium wreck quartz. I know there's quartz down there. So we'll do scanning for quartz. Then I'll go find quartz just real quick. See what actually happens when we find it. There's quartz. So what's it do? It's like all over. Oh, 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 oh. Don't crash. That takes damage. Okay. Noted. All right. Well, we're looking for quartz. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the camera there. See what happens, guys. That is today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to spread the love, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.